So today we'll solve May 24 paper 2 question 8. So let's get into it. Alright, so they have given a right triangular prism, which is A, B, C, D, E, F. And the cross section of the prism is an isosceles triangle, which means that these two lengths are equal. The triangular faces of the volume of the prism is 3.6. The total external surface A of the prism is S. Right. Show that S satisfies the equation this. So basically we need to find an equation for S. So the length of AD is equals BC equals AP, which is Y centimeters, AD, which is this length. All right. Now the problem is that the equation S does not contain a variable Y. So you need to write Y in terms of X first. So using, we have to use this information which is volume is 3.6 and we know the volume to be cross-sectional area multiplied by length so let's take this cross-section and let's find out the area of this cross-section first so since this is an isosceles triangle and it's a right angle triangle so the triangle will look something like this So we don't know the length of DE or CE. Let's take the whole part of the triangle. This is a nice little triangle and this is 90 degrees. All right. The value of this length is X, which is DC and that's part E. So the thing is that we need to find the length of DE. Right. We know the angle of this to be 45 degrees. So using that we can find out the length of DE. We can use basic trigonometry which is sine 45 equals ED over X so the length of ED is X sine 45 which is X over root 2 so that's that and the area of this triangle will be half multiplied by base height so this is the base and this is the height which is half base height that is x over root 2 whole squared which is x squared over 4 that is x squared over 8 so this is the area of the triangle so now we know that the volume is 3.6 and the volume is equals to the the area multiplied by length which is y And the volume is equals to 3.6 so it's x squared y over 8 so if we make y the subject we get 28.8 or let's just write this in fractions which is 144 over 5 x squared All right. so we know the value of y in terms of x now we can find out the surface area so this is a solid right triangular prism the surface area is the area of all the sides added together 
So we know the area of triangle to be x squared over 8 and since there are two triangles so the area of the triangles will be x squared over 4 and the area of the base which is this rectangle will be x multiplied by y so the surface area will be x squared over 4 plus xy plus the there are two uh, two rectangles by the side and the area of this rectangle will be uh, ec multiplied by bc and we don't we know the length of bc to be y and we found out the length of uh, ec to be x over root 2 which is x over root So now what we can do is that we can replace y by 144 over 5x squared. So simplifying this will give us 144 over 5x and 144 over 5x root 2. So they want the answer in this format which is x square over 2 plus this. All right. And if we rationalize, uh, rationalize this part, this will give us 72 root 2 over 5x. So now if we add these two, we get 144 plus 72 root 2. So now you just need to take 72 common so we get 2 plus root 2 over 5x so we uh, so there's a slight mistake which is x over root 2 whole square should give us x over 2 not a uh, wait x squared over 2 not x squared over 4 so sorry for that so it's x squared over 4 and the area of the triangles will be x squared over 2 so the surface area will change and also the value of y will change so it's x squared over 4 oh wait x squared over 2 oh, it's x squared over 4 so the value of y is actually 72 over 5 x squared And since we're, uh, and there's another problem which is y multiplied by x over root 2. This is the area of one, rec one rectangle only. 
as you can see that in the opposite side there's another rectangle identical rectangle so it's so we need to multiply this by 2 so that will be our final answer which is 144 that's 72 so this is our final answer now moving on to the second part which is that given that x can vary use calculus to find the value of x for which s is a minimum justify that this value of x gives a minimum value of s now this is the equation for s and x can vary which means that if we draw a graph of s and x uh, s and x we should get something like let's say that it's something like this it will be a curve we need to find the minimum point minimum point at uh, minimum point the value of x at this minimum point so at the minimum point since it's a turning point ds over dx will be zero which means that we need to differentiate this so differentiating this will give us x and minus 72 1 plus root over 2 over 5x squared equals 0 so basically we just need to simplify this now we can find out the value of x So the value of x will be 3.26. All right. So now, but the thing is that we don't know for sure that this is th this is the x coordinate of the minimum point or the maximum point. We need to find out that this value of x gives us the minimum point or the maximum point. So we need to determine that this value of x is it gives us a minimum point so in order to find out we need the double derivative of s which is d square s over dx squared so this will give us a value of 1 plus 144 1 plus root over 2 over 5x cubed now what we need to do is that we need to substitute this value of x into this e this equation. So we will get a value of uh, something positive. It will be a positive value. So after this, you need to write a conclusion that since d squared s over dx squared is positive, it's a minimum point if d square s over dx square was negative it would give a maximum point All right. now for the third part is that we need to find the minimum value of s which means that if this value of x which is one point uh, not one it's three point two six we know the value of x now we need to val find the value of s which is this part so what we need to do is that we need to substitute this value of x into this equation so substituting x equals 3.26 into the equation will give us somewhat of a value like this which is 16 centimeters squared so that's it for question 8 and I'll see you in the next video.